Hello, Frenzy. My name is Kate Shirk, and welcome back to Inspector Waffles. So, uh, we're kind of in, stuck in a, wait, there's a doorbell? Janitor's just in front of me. So, I'm a little stuck, because we got to figure out how to get into, can I, or how come I can ring? So we got to figure out how to get the key to Erwin's apartment. Grocery bag. Is there something over there? No. So we gotta figure out a little something about Erwin. Um, I know he's a blockhead. Yes, sir, that's true. But tell me, do you think blockheads are good luck or bad luck? I guess it depends on who you're asking. Everybody thinks something different. Yeah, right, but what... Oh my god. But what do you think? I'll let you know when I find Erwin. Fine, fine. You know, Erwin is as good a friend as I can. I can't be doubting you anymore. Thank you, Duke. I'm glad to have your trust. Really? That's it the whole time? Let me grab these spare keys. I hope you find it, everyone, Inspector. Likewise. I'll get these back to you as soon as I can. Useful inside. Can I use the keys on it? Hmm. Seems to be the correct key, but I can't open it. Too rusty. I need to find a way to clean it. This coffee's so acidic, I bet I could clean this rusty key. I'll just dip the key into it. Wait a little bit. A couple more seconds. Ten of the key is good as new. Half of the coffee evaporated though. <laughs> kind of concerning that that I drink this stuff. Yikes. Okay. Now I have a clean key. Let's try opening the mailbox. It works. Mailbox contains a little package. Take in case it contains evidence. Okay. So let's go up. We'll go to Irwin's. Okay, so we got the keys. No idea you knew Orin so well, Inspector. You must be so sad that your best friend is missing. It's very kind of you to say, but I was playing the janitor. You lied to him to get the keys? Of course I was. I've never met Orin in my life. I don't feel comfortable with this. I'm not going in this apartment. Not without a warrant. We need to see to do this the right way. Well, Mocha doesn't want to help me on this, so there won't be any warrant. As you want, Professor, without it, I'm not coming in. And Patches wonders why I prefer to work alone. Okay, so can I go in or not? Are you... Oh, he won't go in. This is so stupid. So this is what a Merwin's apartment looks like. And the culprit of the smell, grilled codfish with tomatoes, very old. It's incredible how somebody can smell this from the police station. Doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it feels like he's almost making fun of me. And I'm like the only reasonable person around. Or maybe sniffing is an exact science after all. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Fridge, mostly frozen codfish, some milk too, and that's all. Meal plan is Patch's nightmare. Let's see frozen codfish, some milk. Okay. Um What's up here? Bowl full of almonds. Almonds are delightful. Only okay, that's okay. Love well, cans of tomato sauce. I'll take your one likes to eat. I can understand. Hey, give it a rest. Stop it. Yeah, let's see here. It's a fridge. Uh, wait, okay, so let's see something here. So I can use almonds, almonds with a croissant, and pull out almond croissant. How simple is that? I hope it's good. Almonds, tomato sauce cans. Okie dokie. Look, he smells funny. A strong sense coming from this apartment. Tomato sauce and codfish. Grilled codfish. I'm standing right next to you and all I get is a musty hallway. You're not a sniffer dog, Waffles. That's why. Just an inspector. Excuse me. Just an inspector. I studied and worked very hard to get to this position. Same for me. I just had to sniff a lot of weird things. One time I had to smell someone's... I don't need to know, Spotty. I promise. 
Okay, so nothing else is in that apartment right now that I can tell. So let's go back to the station. We'll give uh, Mocha her almond croissant. At least that's something. Maybe she'll give me something out of it. Okay. Okay, we want... You're not gonna do that, are you? Wonderful. Okay. Okay, here's a normal croissant with almonds. Oh, where did you find it? It's delicious. Er, uh, from a street vendor. I don't remember where exactly. Let me know if you remember, okay? I'd love to get more of them myself. Of course, Mocha. Thanks, but I want the entire breakfast. You're a tough negotiator. Well, damn it, that doesn't help me at all. Shit. Hang on a second. Just have to try. Coffee on the water looks older and it's also completely wet. I need to find a way to dry it. Okay. So, I don't know why that matters. I guess it's a little help. Want something else? Anything for you, mon petit cher? Uh, let's. Can I use your hair dryer? Oh, you do not need that. Your hair is already perfect. Not for my hair. I need to dry this letter. Oh, but of course, just a moment. Ooh la la, love letter. I knew you were a kinky cat, no? What? No, it's not. <sighs> Never mind. No need for excuses. La vive es real. I don't understand, Inspector, why are we trying to draw your love letter? The letter wasn't for me. If I were to tell you that was tampering with evidence to trick an administrator to giving me a warrant, will you freak out? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So then I'm not doing that at all. Just trust me on this one. Of course. It's now dry. It looks like old Pepeo now. Why would you want to ruin this? It's not ruined. It's exactly what I want to thank you, Miss Bella. Oh, because then it looks like an antique. I can take it to her. Okay, um... Coffee addict, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's give her the love letter. A love letter for you, very well written. This is poetry. Hmm, it's interesting. It looks old, maybe for two or three centuries ago. Just imagine. Maybe it's from an undersea treasure, a pirate's letter to a lover, but never sent. She worked as a barkeep at a bar of ill repute by the seaside, waiting to see her ship on the horizon. She patiently, patiently spent years biding her time for him to return, but unfortunately it never happened. And that's how Brandy was written. <laughs> um, that's oh, so beautiful. Yes, yes it is. That's how I s sell it. Pardon, Inspector? Do you think I'm stupid? You altered a love letter written this week to make it look older. It still smells like coffee. I'm sorry, miss. I thought it would work. Oh, don't worry about it. It will work. I'll sell it with the same story I told you. Someone will buy it, and I'll make a bunch of money. It's perfectly evil. I'm kind of impressed. The ends justify the means, Inspector. Now you can use my coffee machine to help yourself. Finally. Okay. Can you have a cup of coffee now? No. But I thought we did. Use the coffee machine. I'm running out of milk and cinnamon. And it won't work out without them. Okay. Okay, stop. I got it. Okay, so I have milk. Uh, uh, milk and cinnamon. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I have the cinnamon. Oh my god, woman. Give me the fucking thing and I can do it. So bad. Huge amount of cinnamon for just one coffee. Do you really need your cinnamon coffee? Yes. That's what I thought. Thanks. Finally, I can have my cinnamon coffee. For a lady who works with me. For love. So you were more of an idiot than I thought. You're in love with the milk inspector? I had no idea. It explains the love letter. It came from her. It explains everything. Can you see how good I am at detectiving now? I swear to God, if I get one more fucking phone call... 
investigating. I already told you it's investigating. Sorry. Investigating. But I found out you and about you and Mocha. How sweet. I am no she isn't that's fine, Inspector. I won't tell anyone. Oh my god, we are not in love. She actually hates me because of stuff I did at work. It's interesting it is to hear your love stories. Here's your coffee. And have a good day, gentle cats. Okay, thank fuck. I'm sick of hearing about it. Fuck. Now we give Mocha her damn fucking coffee. Just drink coffee. Why does it have to be flavored? Fuck. God, that's annoying. Anywho. Here's your... Okay, here's blah, 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 blah. Suck your dick, whatever. Here's your fucking coffee. This one looks tasty. Does it have cinnamon? Yeah, it's tedious to track down. If you say so, let me try it. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, it was good enough. Thanks, Waffles. Ah, uh, my breakfast. I didn't expect you'd do it. Waffles, thank you. You must be really desperate to get this warrant. Surprised you didn't enter without it, since that's what you all do. Oh, I already did. It's spotty. He won't go in without the warrant, and I need him to sniff the place. You're hopeless, Waffles. I know. Here's your warrant. Second, some advice. Try to be like spotty sometimes. He's the nicest place dog to work with. Waffles, what do you need this time? I need your help, Mocha. What? I don't need anything else right now. Okay, let's go in. Spotty, you can get your damn warrant. What do we need a warrant for? He's a person of interest and he's missing. I think that's probable cause to go in. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we know you can smell stuff. For fuck sake, take me off your list. Warrant would you do me the pleasure of coming with? Sure, Inspector, now that everything's 100% legal, I'm happy to join. This is the first time in a long time I've done something completely by the book. Let's go. Rock codfish I've been smelling. I think I deserve the hot dog you promised me before. I don't think it's best time for- wait! I'm smelling something else. There is some- I can't believe it. There's catnip here. It's completely illegal here in Cat Town. Yeah, I've heard about that. Uh, do you think it's this apartment? You can't smell it? It's just behind you, hidden somewhere in the wall. I certainly don't smell catnip. I still think you just call things out as they magically appear. I got a master's degree from the Dog City University College of Sniffing with a speciali specialization in cat drugs like catnip. I've trained for this exact moment. Of course you're spotty. Let's see if you're right. Uh, ugh. It's right behind me in the wall behind me. It's be hollow inside. Let's see. Oh! I can't believe it. You were right, Spotty. There was some catnip hidden behind there. I told you. Never lie. I'm impressed, Spotty. You're the first one to make me believe in sniffing. Where's my reward? Your reward? Yup. Every time I found some catnip at university, I got a reward. A treat. Maybe a tummy rub? Spotty, I'm never going to rub your tummy. <laughs> ever. You always say how you like to stay professional at work. A tummy rub never hurt anyone, Inspector. No. No, 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 no. Okay, then. Candy would be fine, then. I don't have any candy. I'm sorry, but I'm not patches. No candy? No tummy rub? I feel betrayed. Get used to it, Spotty. Okay. But that's not why we're here. Shouldn't we report it? I don't know. It could be better use against him if we have to interrogate him at some point. You know better than me. Everyone doesn't even look addicted to the nip. He burned his grilled cod and left it here, but usually nip users don't let any food go to waste. He also hid some money and, again, another grocery list. Like in Fluffy's house, but why hide a grocery list, both of them? Nothing is making sense here. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe they're making a secret recipe like Frank with his hot dogs. That's... No, a good thought, Spotty, but they are not cooks. I just need to compare the two lists with a closer eye. Okay. Two grocery hidden away at two separate places of interest. It's very suspicious. I'm going to pair them. Well, they're identical. They both contain the exact same products in the exact same quantity. The list I found at Orange Place has an address scribbled and a date. Maple Market in Sopaw neighborhood and the date is today. Do you think we should head there, Inspector? Definitely. We need to understand why they both needed to go to the particular Maple Market with this exact grocery list. 
It's located across the town from the residence. They both could have found a closer market. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Is it me or does that not make any sense? No, you're right. And that's what we're going to investigate. Do you mean to sniff out a path there? No, I'm spotty. Fortunately, this time I know the way. Let's go. Ooh, we're going on a ride. It's so much fun. Spotty, I'd love to have your enthusiasm sometimes. My life would be so much easier. Okay. So, there's that. Chances are... Okay, so we are going to Maple Market. Let's head over there. Here it is, Maple Market. Mm. Oh, there's no queue at the entrance. In entrance, God, well, good for us. Why would there be a line at the entrance of a supermarket inspector? Mm. It's how it works, only one person inside at a time. You tell the cashier what you want, they pick it up, and you're good to go. That's a weird way to do it. It helps prevent fights between cats and dogs. Wait, how do you not know how supermarkets work, Spotty? How do you eat? I like hot dogs. I get a lot of carry out hot dogs. Sometimes I also eat steaks. I really like steaks. Lots of places near my home. Uh, where you, sorry, where you can eat. How do you manage to stay so thin with a diet of hot dogs and steaks? I run a lot. I don't run with steaks anymore though. Too dangerous. One time I got stuck for hours trying to enter a doorway. What a nightmare. That's, I, never mind Spotty. Let's head inside. Of course, Inspector. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. Green light means the next in line is free to go. I'm gonna say it's gonna be me. That's why you know the rule, one person only inside of the main market. That's a stupid rule. I don't wanna go in anyway. Perfect, just wait for me at the street lamp there. Sure, stay still. I won't be long. I won't move, Inspector. Good, be back soon. Oh God. Oh, sir, my name is George. How can I help you today? We have a buy two, get one free on pineapples today. Don't miss out on one of those incredible deals. Thanks, but I'm not here for pineapples. I am here. How can I help you? Uh, I like one salmon, five mouse tails, duck grease, one shub mackerel, and three lobster tails. It's a very particular order, sir. I know, right? Are you sure you want these products? Yes, and in this exact quantity. We are the lions. We are the lions. Uh-huh, right. We are the lions. You can go, brother. The assembly will start soon. Of course, that's why I'm here. Can't wait to see the other lions. That's why. Oh my, more than one way to skin a cat. Oh, into the lion's den, okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm so confused. Aren't we all? Who are these lions? How are Irwin and Fluffy involved? I noticed the cashier acting strange when he started talking about the lions. That was pretty weird. Let's find out more about these lions and when they're trying to meet up. Expected turn of events. Okay, so here's what I am gonna do. Save the game here, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this episode off here. I'll come back and play a little bit more later on. But for the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to jump down that like button if you did like it. Leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos that I've done. We'll see you all for the next one.